Hi guys, welcome to my February slash March British Books Challenge vlog. So I didn't do one of these at the start of March to wrap up February because in February I was doing Finish It Feb, which is a challenge which has been run by Caroline and Faye for the past two years and I love it. I think the whole idea is brilliant, it gives a great opportunity to try to finish off a series that you have neglected for a long time. And I chose the Artemis Fowl series by Owen Colfer and I still haven't finished it but I did spend the whole of February trying to finish the series and I reread the first two books, Artemis Fowl and Artemis Fowl and The Arctic Incident. Then I read book three, Artemis Fowl and the Eternity Code. Book four, Artemis Fowl and The Opal Deception, which I loved so much. I think this is possibly my favourite apart from the first one. And then I read Artemis Fowl and The Lost Colony on ebook, which is why I have it written on a piece of paper instead. So that was great for Finish It Feb, but the Artemis Fowl series is by an Irish author, it has an Irish char main character, so it doesn't count for the British Books Challenge. After February was over and I'd read those few books, I kind of didn't want to keep reading the Artemis Fowl series one after the other because I was enjoying it so much, you know? I want to kind of drag it out a bit longer, especially now I am up to only having two more books left to read and I don't know how I'm going to cope when it's all over. Anyway, I also kind of said that I need to finish it Feb, I would try to finish the bookshop book since I was only a couple of sections away from the end um, when I paused reading this in order to interview the author and then didn't pick it back up. Um, but I didn't actually finish it in February, I finished it in March, but I finished it nonetheless and it is British! So it made a great start into actually finishing British books in March. So then I read Beware, Beware the Dwarves by Terry Paddock. Um, this is a British book, it's about a group of flatmates and it was okay. I didn't love it. If the author had published another book, I would probably give it a go. Then I read Artemis Fowl and the Time Paradox, which was really, really fun and just cemented this idea in my brain that I cannot bear to have this series end and I'm going to cry when it's over. Then I read A Month of April May by Edith Bulbring, which was a Christmas present from my fellow booktuber Claire Rousseau. And that's not, it's not British, but it was, it was fun. It's about a South African schoolgirl and the trouble she gets into trying to um, get rid of a teacher she doesn't like at her new school. And I've got the second one, so I'm looking forward to reading that soon. And I read, for the first time in what feels like ages, a UKYA book. I read Gypsy Girl by Catherine James, if you hadn't guessed from the fact that I'm holding on next to my face, um, which is about a young traveller girl and all the mess she gets into around the time of her sister's wedding. Um, she is secretly a fighter in illegal fight clubs and she's using that to pay for the wedding and some people who don't want her family staying in town and she gets into fights with them and it all comes very thrillerish very quickly and I really enjoyed that element of it and it also really likes the family details. The fighting didn't do so much for me but that's okay. I think it's a bit like um, sports books. I'm not interested in sports as sports books could just kind of go over to my head on one level and it was the same with the fighting here. Um, but that's not, I think, the fault of the book. I think that's just me not having any interest in fighting. I had to read it pretty quickly this month. It's not out until next month. 
which is why I had to read it because I am interviewing the author as part of the countdown to the 7th of May celebrations. When that interview's up I will put a link in the description box below. Then I read another British book although this one is adult. This is Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Healy and I loved it. It's about a woman who is losing her memory and is preoccupied by the idea that a friend of hers has gone missing and she is trying to hunt for clues and figure out what's going on but she keeps forgetting things and as the novel goes on her condition gets worse so we know less than she does because when she does find something out she forgets it um, so we only pick it up in snippets and it also flash, flashes back to um, some time in the past and her family and um, what happened when her sister went missing. So over the last couple of months I got loads of British books. I got sent a bunch of books to review um, from Walker Books and I went to the UK YABA Awards um, where I got another book in the goodie bag and I've also been given some books by friends and been lent some books and went to the library and yeah um, I was considering doing a haul but I got so many books I think it would gone a bit long I don't really have anything to say about them as I haven't read them yet so I thought I'd just skip um, past all that and tell you what I'm hoping to read this month and maybe for a little bit in May before I do my next video. I am currently reading Remix by Non Pratt and I am loving it. Um, as you know if you saw my earlier videos I read Trouble fairly recently and I really liked it but because it's about teenage pregnancy it's a bit like sports books. Um, not interested in teenage pregnancy so I don't think I enjoyed it as much as some other readers did. However, Remix is at a music festival and it's all about friendship and groups and kind of social politics and I love that. So I'm really, 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 really enjoying this and I think I'm going to keep enjoying this and really recommend it in the end. But, you know, I haven't finished yet so it, it could be terrible but it probably won't be. After that I have to read Wintersmith by Terry Pratchett which is the third Tiffany Aiken book. I read the first two years ago, absolute years ago, and loved them but then never got around to reading this one. I don't know why I do this, it's like I commit reading self-sabotage. Rubbish. Anyway, I am doing a review of that as part of the Terry Pratchett blog tour um, that Vivienne is running. I'll put a link to the details about that in the description box and when I've done the post I'll put the link in there as well so you can see it. You've got to remember to actually put all these links in. And then after that, because I am just desperate to read these books, like so desperate to read these books, I'm hoping to read The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury and Under My Skin by James Dawson. I mean, these are just the most beautiful covers in the world. This isn't even the real cover. This is just like a proof, this is just a proof cover. The real cover is even more gorgeous. And Under My Skin, what can I say? Look at that pink. Look at that pink. I've got a nail varnish, which is about this colour. And I'm going to put it on and wear it whilst I'm reading that book. Because we can. How are you doing with the British Books Challenge if you're trying to complete, complete it? Um, if you've got done a vlog, leave me a link in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Bye!